Hey! Jake, you are so nice. good. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> guy, dude. Goodbye. Nice. That was actually so good, Jake. <laughs> Jake, I love you. <laughs> nice, man. Let's get a let's get a drunk rat laugh real quick. <laughs> <laughs>
Two minutes. Oh. Fucking sorry though. What is he doing? Oh, he's eating so much crap. That's yes, good though. No. It's okay though, because I can stop. Okay. Oh no. Matt, you need to eat this crap. Matt, oh, Matt, Matt eats eat everything. Oh, Matt's an eater. Oh, what a dumb, what a raucous bot. Wow. Hard they got a six minute third time, and the only reason they won that map is because they did so much stupid <laughs> that we couldn't tell where the widow was anymore, and they killed you. <laughs> now we're about to get hit some real, with some real stupid <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Hire my guy! Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 yes, the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. Get the kill in the AKM though. Now, Links are covering the point. Seagull not able to get anything done with that barrage. And Houston pretty much has point beyond lockdown here. Appropriate that we have a McCree shootout here to decide the map. Harry hooked down. Linkser draws first blood. OG taking a lot of damage. Linkser, whoa, with the 3K. OG in a lot of trouble. Barrage comes in for Jake. Dallas just scattered. I don't know what the plan was there, oh but it did not my. work out. That was disgusting. That was beautiful by Houston. Honestly, Doa. They're gonna take the map. Instead, the brawl continues. Arhan with the Dragon Blade is chasing Unko, but there's not gonna be any kills. Oh, he finally oh. gets him. There he goes. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it gets a few in the end. He even reflects the scatter arrow into Mickey's mech. Wait, watch out for Zedrax Lex! Don't, it's not over, watch for Zedrax Lex! Take him behind, behind, leave him behind. In, in apartments, leave him behind. Back, back. Zed, dead. Zed, dead. Zed, dead. Zed coming in bottom left. Who runs Texas? Zed bottom left. Yeah! 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 Let's go! No, Matt, let's go! After the fuel match, everyone was obviously really excited. It was really nice to beat them uh, after all the work we put in. Uh, the Valiant match was another big match, but it came right after, so there wasn't a lot of time to be really excited over the fuel victory. So we just went straight into prepping for Valiant. And while the scoreline might not suggest it, um, I think we played pretty well for the most part against Valiant. Uh, just some really, really crucial mistakes uh, that ended up costing us all four maps. Uh. For whatever reason, now in this moment where we're like on the bubble and we have to win, I feel like way more focused on the game and like I don't, I'm not really thinking about anything else. Okay guys, our life is on the line here. This is it boys, like playing for keeps. Yeah, you know, it's, it's felt like, it it's felt like every, you know, almost every match we've been fighting for something. You know, at our last shot, right, we, we've been in this moment so many times. I feel like this is the moment where we have to let it all go, you know, and, yeah. like, let all that pressure and all that anticipation go. And have just, fun. Just, just focus on, you know, think about we practice Blizzard, we practice, like, we know how to play these <laughs> maps. I see and the noobs, just, I clap the noobs. It's just, it's just map by map. Let's keep playing smart, keep playing our game, keep our comms up, like, our best chances when we play together. Let's do this. Next game was Valiant, and what was crazy about the Valiant match was we were so close to winning every map. We just made so many like tiny minor mistakes, and it costed us two maps at the start. And even the third map, it was like we had like a perfect like retake available. It was 99 to 85 percent on Oasis, and we had Primal, and we had two supports at 80 percent ult. So we were going to use the Primal stall, but circumstances happened and like the I guess the plan did come through fully and we made some mistakes and we weren't able to win it when we could have so it's not necessarily that we're choking we have like a lot of communication issues and it's not due to language barriers it's more just to do with like um, acknowledging what is the right play like if two or three people are calling what they want to do it has to be up to one person to make that uh, make that play and pe everyone has to be like trusting and listening but it's, it's very hard to establish that when we've tried so many different things, so that was one of the reasons we lost the Valiant. Yeah, it was super close. I, I started healing Blue Matt. Was I, I just... I tried to make the call. Yeah, I mean... Take it easy. It's okay, guys. It's like I one more map to play. Good luck, guys. You guys got this. Life is going on. <laughs> yeah, man. The world will continue to turn. Now we play for honor. Yo, good stuff, guys. Tough to take the loss, but... You know, I actually, I'm, I'm actually happy with the way we played today. I do feel like we made minor mistakes, but I don't know. On any other team, I think we would have gotten the win. Well, at least every game was a close game. Most of the maps came down to the very last second, uh, where people made like key mistakes that cost us the maps. Um, but other than that, I think we played pretty well overall. And even though the the big loss, it definitely is like a setback in terms of how we feel and how. Our, our hopes for playoffs, but 
I think uh, more long term, it was definitely like a good loss, a good loss because we learned a lot from it and hopefully the, the way we focused and prepped on these matches that matter or determine if we make playoffs or not will carry over. We won't, hopefully during like stage one and stage two and stage three, we'll have that mentality of like remembering how much the matches at the end of this season mattered and we won't want to have to endure that again so we'll hopefully prep more for the matches that aren't just in stage four. I can't. I, I can't actually look smaller. You actually just got dominated. <laughs> you look got at dominated. my marker. How's it going? Good. How are you? Anyone yeah, just have anywhere on the front there. Yeah. 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 I don't forget about yeah. coaching staff. I want to say thank okay. you to the team. Thanks, so, yeah. It's like. Oh my god. I was trying to get a look at it. I saw that in the crowd. I was like, that's great. I don't know. 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 I think I, I think I remember you came out to another game. You guys are so cool, yeah. This might be my last game that I'm coming to, so I'll try to come to everyone. 21 hours of driving. Oh. oh. <laughs> we we so didn't much. drive, oh, okay, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, shut up, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rip tire. No, like, very explosive. Put like, your name on it next yeah, time. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. Like, I'm not from Alabama. I'm from Alabama. Probably, yeah. Corn dog at heart. <laughs> Make you feel like I was riding the world. Oh, 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 oh. What's the backside, Tyrone? Just the The security dog. Wow, yeah. I'm too short otherwise. Yeah, Um, I mean, it definitely feels really weird not having the chances of us making playoffs directly in our hands. Um, it's a feeling I haven't had to experience for a very long time, and it's definitely frustrating. But in order to become the best player you can be, or even the best team you can be, you kind of just have to keep your head up and remember that, yeah, even if we don't make season one stage playoff or season one playoffs, there's still season two that we're prepping for and trying to become a better team for. And I mean, I'm going to put the same motivation into every match. If I'm 39 and 0, I'm going to be putting in the same as if I was 0 and 39. So I really just try not to pay attention to the record and just focus on the future, really. Yeah, so the only thing that sucks about losing the Valiant for us is that we controlled our own destiny if we won all three games, no matter what we were in. And now it's not really in our hands, but I mean, you have to keep going no matter what. Even if the odds are against you, you have to keep going. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best to be Philly. We're gonna do our best to beat Nixle. And if Philly just beats London and qualifies and we're out, I mean, they deserve it. We made too many mistakes this season, but we're never gonna give up until it's over. There's no point. We're too good for that. We realize there's a world where we actually still can make playoffs. If we beat Philly and then Philly loses to London right after that, we are in, like, that's it. And we've never beat Philly and it's really affected us and we're gonna throw everything we have at Philly and we're gonna throw everything we have in Nixle because if we don't win both games, we're just not in no matter what. So we're going to win these next two games, like we have to, or we're just not in. And then our whole season is over. There's so many positives to look forward to for next season that we've learned from this season. Um, mainly do like uh, tendencies, like character, character like attitudes, um, worth ethic. You know, there's tons of things that everyone can learn from. Every single team will have these problems. And I feel like we're going to learn a lot about how to improve that and become the best team we can in season two. We're already talking about things to start back up in July, you know, if we don't qualify. It's like we're already like on the grind for season two immediately. And I, I feel like there's a, a general opinion that like, you know, if, if a team is losing, it's because they're bad. But it's not like necessarily bad players. It's bad like teamwork and bad like strategy preparation and whatnot and cohesion. It's it's very like, I don't know how else to explain this, but maybe it's simple, simpler if I just say it like this. It's like everyone who's in Overwatch League is talented enough to play. Everyone can hit the shots, everyone can aim, do the, the sick things. It's more about like how you work with the team and the communication you work with other players. You win more games by doing less flashy things and working together than you will doing flashy things and winning. So we're gonna focus on, you know, working together more than, any, more than ever. And that's gonna be our like focus for the whole season too. Going into the last week of the first inaugural season of the Overwatch League, I'm looking forward most to 
defeating Philly, I really want to beat them because it's been so close every time. I think it's been 3-2 every time. We've lost them barely, and it, like it's hard to explain, but I was on a previous team with Carpe and Shadow, and it, it's just like I need to get at least one win because it just sucks. It really just sucks. And if we beat them and they lose to London and we qualify, it's going to be like a bittersweet moment for me. It's going to be like the best feeling going into the last week.